Hello everyone, I am Vijay and today we are going to install React web app using Vite. To do so, let us visit the official documentation of Vite. For that, just type in Vite on your preferable browser. I am using Chrome, so Vite or Vite.js. And this is the official site, Vite.js.dev. Let us visit. So here, let us go to the guide section. And if we move along, we can see like uh, Vite supports like many template pre uh, presets like JavaScript in both JavaScript and TypeScript and for our purpose we will use npm create Vite at the rate latest so we will be using this command and to use npm your, your system should have node.js installed so node.js version 18 or 20 plus should be installed on your system it is very easy to install node.js like you have, you have to type in node JS, just visit this website node.js.org so and here uh, like, uh, download the LTS version and if you click on next next time it will install automatically so through that you can install node.js and in this project we will be using uh, wheat at the rate latest this command so let me copy this command so I have created a folder uh, I have created a folder named projects here I will be opening my uh, Visual Studio code. Uh, you can use any code editor of your choice. I will, I will be using Visual Studio code. So this is the Visual Studio code. And let me open the terminal here. You can use any terminal. And right now we are in the projects directory as you can see. So how to check like uh, if you have node installed in your system or not. Just type in node minus minus version and if you press enter you can see the version is 20.9.0 and according to your system or the your installed version it will show you like 20 point something something so now let us move further by like typing the command for installing the uh, react app that is npm create a wheat at the rate latest so let us do that npm create wheat at the rate latest so now it is asking me the project name so if you can give any name of your choice I will be giving web app for simplicity next it is asking me about selecting a framework so let me choose react by arrow keys react then it is asking me to select a variant so for simplicity I will be using plain JavaScript yeah so as you can see here our web app is ready but we have to do some steps uh, we have to run some commands cd web app so it is telling me to change my directory to web app like that right now my terminal is present in the projects directory we have to enter into the uh, web app so let us do cd web app okay cd web app so right now our terminal is in web app then we have to do some more commands like npm install it will install all the necessary node modules to run the application so let us do that npm install or npm in shortcut you can write npm i also it will do the same so let us wait till the all necessary node modules get installed then we can do npm run dev to start the local development server Till that let us see what all things we get here uh, we have a public folder we have src folder source folder then we have assets then uh, css and jsx main all those stuff so our node modules are getting installed yeah our node modules have successfully installed so let us uh, run the application to do so uh, we have to just type in npm run dev so let us do that npm run dev if we do so uh, it will start the server in the local in the local development mode so now it is telling that uh, we have to visit this http a localhost 5173 let us type this in our browser and see what happens localhost 5173 so there you go your uh, react app is working fine so uh, 
let us go through the code what all things we get here like in the app.jsx and uh, by the way you have to keep the terminal open or it should be running otherwise your app will be closed if you close the terminal so i am minimizing this terminal uh, also uh, whenever you change the code in this uh, like in your react app if you change the code or add features it will be automatically reloaded and you don't have to worry or you don't have to like uh, like you don't have to restart your app again and again it will take care of that so let me minimize my terminal i'm not closing it i'm just minimizing my terminal and i am just uh, uh, removing all the unnecessary files or like pre-written code which is provided by wheat so all these things like this logos i don't want logos and use state i don't want for now i only want css that i will be writing in that so i will need that use state i don't need and this whole code i don't need uh, for now just I will be using a sim simple div and hello world So that's it. Let me format So just my app contains hello world and what all things are there index.css all these pre-written CSS I don't need same for app.css. I don't need so I am completely erasing all those stuff done and in my main.jsx uh, there is nothing to change uh, the assets so react.svg i don't need i am deleting it and also in public we have v.svg that also i don't need i am deleting it uh, i am just uh, making it a plain react app with nothing in it just empty react app and index.html uh, there also there is some fab icon like v.svg we have deleted it so i don't need that and also we can change the title of this like web app so as you can see the page got reloaded automatically as I was telling you so let us check in the browser so yes our browser title also got changed like web app and hello world is displayed so that's all about this tutorial I hope you liked this video for more content like this subscribe to my youtube channel and until then keep learning